Because like I said, the Lord just provided. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Garvey and today we're going antiquing again. I am so excited for this one. This was a completely spontaneous trip because I had to grab some things at a store next to it, which I will show. It's actually a children's thrift store. And the Lord just like provided at this store. It was so funny. I found exactly what I needed for school. So I'll show you those items real quick. But what I'm really excited to show you guys is what I found at this antique store. Specifically, how similar these items were to the things that I have been pinning recently on Pinterest. So I will show you kind of like side by side what I pinned and then like what I found because it was just too good. And stick around because I'll haul everything at the end and show you what I got. I also just wanted to say hello and welcome to anyone who is new here. I've had a lot of new subscribers lately. I always forget to introduce myself. So my name is Emily Garvey. I am a mom of two little boys and I love thrifting, homemaking, and a good DIY. So I hope you all will stick around. This channel is very new. I think I've been doing this for three months now. And so I just so appreciate you all being here. I wouldn't keep doing this if people weren't watching probably, <laughs> but I really enjoy making these videos and I hope that you will join me on my journeys. I think I'm gonna start doing a few more videos soon because my toddler is about to start pre-K. I have a whole list of video ideas. All right, so let's go antiquing. Benjamin was my little shopping buddy for this trip and you'll see later that he took a glorious nap in here. The first thing I spotted was this little antique washboard. I've been wanting to get one of these for my laundry room. I think that it just adds so much character and is so sweet. Now I rarely ever buy things at antique stores only if I really like it or if the price is honestly like a thrift store price, but I love getting inspiration at antique stores and it also helps me gauge when I go to a thrift store about what is a more fair, reasonable price and what is a real bargain. I only have one of these right now, but I do love using cigar boxes in decor, especially for adding height on shelf styling and to create different levels. And these prices were not too bad for these. So I know these colors are really bold, especially this pink one, but hear me out. I think that these would be absolutely beautiful styled in one of those ceramic egg containers on an open shelf in a kitchen. I've been loving these peg rails for both their functionality and their beauty. I think that this would be a beautiful basket to add some dried flowers to or to collect the mail in. I try to always keep an eye out for little things like this that could hold a little plant. I don't think this video does it justice, but this drawer is tiny. I'm talking like less than two feet. Let me know if you know what this would be used for. This is called a letter holder, right? I thought this would be beautiful on an old antique desk. Jumping back to the idea of those open kitchen shelves, I think that this spice holder and jars would add so much character to either open shelves or a cabinet in the kitchen. One of my favorite things might be finding expensive things in the antique store like this one that was marked at $16. And let me tell you, I bought that ball a few months ago for $2 at a thrift store. I've been loving copper recently. This one definitely needs a good clean, but this teapot reminded me a lot of the one that I recently got at the antique store in Maine. So you know I always have to look at the baskets, but I'm particularly looking for a basket that can go on top of a tall bookcase in my bedroom. And I want it to be really big and kind of flat. A lot of the baskets that I was finding in here though were very expensive. I'm talking like $50. So that's just a little bit out of my price range and I want to find something that has a lot of character and is very unique, but at a thrift store price. Does anyone know what these wooden paddles or spatulas are, I'm curious to know. These teacups reminded me so much of the modern day Mr. and Mrs. like wine glasses and mugs that we see in Target and everything. And I just thought these were so beautiful and classy, especially that they said mother and father. I've been loving this oval shape, especially with gold antique mirrors recently. This candlestick was giving me the most perfect cottagey vibes. 
Lately, I think I've been wearing aprons around the house more often than not just because of the practicality, one. But then two, I think that they're also just so beautiful. I am definitely starting a little collection of aprons and I so enjoyed this blue and white one and I thought it was just very classic. I love brass candlesticks and I think they can be used all year long and then especially around the holidays. If you've been watching my channel since the beginning, you know that I love finding old wooden toys, but I've never paid this much for one. I've mentioned before on here that I love blue and white ceramics. They especially remind me of my grandmother. I always keep an eye out for blue and white at thrift stores, but sometimes there is not that much of a selection. And so I think it was really helpful for me to see so many different types at this antique store to see kind of what I like. There's of course a large variety in the pattern on the ceramics, but also in the color of the blue. And I gravitate towards the more dark and navy blue. Always keep an eye out for small wooden step stools as these are super functional in a home with kids. We have a few basic plastic ones around our house and I would love to replace those with some wood ones. I loved this brass lion. The lion is the symbol of Christ in Christianity and I think it would look beautiful styled on a bookcase on a stack of books. This bowl could have so many uses for decoration or for storing items in the kitchen. These reminded me so much of the set that my parents had when we were growing up. I really love the classic style of this and I don't know what it's called, but I really like it. I found more oval frames and I love these. I think that oval might be like an upcoming shape. I feel like we have gone through the circle shape and now like arch is really trendy, but maybe, maybe oval will be the next trendy shape. What do you think? I found more copper and this bucket was massive. I was doing some searching on Pinterest to see what it could be used for and I really liked how they styled this Christmas tree in here. I don't know, what do you guys think? My dream kitchen will for sure have a pot rack with lots of copper hanging from it. Now for the children's thrift store that inspired this trip. So we were looking for very specific shoes for school and they had a lot of good shoes. And I love how this thrift store organizes everything into bins per size. It's just really easy to find. So I'll just include a few clips of this, but I don't know if you all are even interested in this, but I found some good ones. not a fan of flavored coffee <laughs> i tried it this week and i just i don't think it's my my thing let me know in the comments below if you guys have a good flavored coffee because i've been kind of getting bored of just like normal coffee but i don't know it just tastes a little artificial anyway so i hope some of those clips were inspiring maybe you can find some of those things at thrift stores where they're even cheaper you know let me show you what i got so first off was this basket let me know in the comments below i know that this has a name. It's like starts with an L or something where it has that flat weave, or maybe that's not all of the baskets that have that flat weave, but usually they're pretty expensive. Now this one does have like some, you know, imperfections on it. Where I plan to use this is up on top of our bookcase in our bedroom. So it's not gonna get like kids poked on it. Um, I love the old like patina on it. I love this color basket. I feel like I usually get like really light baskets. I love how you can see the nails in here and it just looks so old, like pretty, pretty good size. So I could just store things up here as my plan. The rest of the baskets in there that were this like style were around like 20 or $30. But I brought it up to the front. The ladies were like, wow, that is a beautiful one. And wow, that's a really good price. I was like, I know, I know. I'm excited to put this into my bedroom soon and stick around because I do plan to do an entire bedroom makeover. It is in desperate need of a makeover. So this basket was only $6, which is great in my book. That's like a thrift store price at an antique store. You know I love that. So in about like two weeks, my toddler will be starting Catholic school for the first time. And so he needs very specific uniform shoes. He needs black sneakers that have the black sole on them. I didn't know this, so I was just planning on sending him like his normal Nikes, but it's hard to find like black sole. Like they're just not, 
the cutest. I don't know if anyone really likes Black Soul. It's just not a look that I like go after, I guess. These were ones that I found in his size, little Nike, I don't know what these are, Nike shoes. <laughs> and they look like brand new, honestly. Like you would be able to know if a kid like wore them a lot. I don't know if it's gross to buy shoes secondhand, but I feel like if you look at the bottom and there's nothing like gross and then do a little sniff test and like they pass both those then it's fine with me i like spray lysol in there and then just like scrub the outside a little bit the kids are just gonna destroy them anyway right so these were 12 dollars and i did have a coupon so it was 10 dollars off all of this and for pe i know it doesn't make any sense they're supposed to wear white shoes with white soles these are gonna get destroyed but i found these adorable little nike i think they're called force it said on here yeah nike force um and these were also in great condition my little trick for cleaning leather white shoes is using a magic eraser using that little sponge thing just gets everything off and then we have this spray that you spray on it i'll like insert a picture of it because that helps them just like wick the wick so it's called wick it helps the dirt just like not stick on it i think and these were a little bit more expensive these were 16 dollars, but these do retail for 40. I could have just gotten Walmart shoes or something, but I do enjoy getting like the name brand shoes, I'll be honest. And I think that they also hold up a little bit better, hopefully. That's how I rationalize it, but honestly, I just like, like the name brand. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't care at all. I'm the one who cares. <laughs> and then I also found this little pair of Nikes, also like leather, and these were in like even better condition. Like these look like they were barely worn. These were $12 and they're like a bigger size. He can grow into these for next year and we don't have to worry about buying new uniform shoes. I know it's like the end of summer, but we live in Florida. We will continue to keep swimming until like October, November. So he needed some more of these, especially just like to leave at grandma's house and in the diaper bag. You just never could have enough <laughs> swimsuits. Um, and I found these two. I thought they were really cute, especially these. I don't know what this brand is, Jewels. These are just like Carters, but I really like that they are embroidered, in, in, embroidered, embroidered, <laughs> instead of just like printed on there. Um, little details like that. And he actually has a pair of lobster ones that he just outgrew. So I'm hoping Benjamin can wear those and then next year Gideon can wear these and then they can be matching. That would be adorable. And both of these swim trunks were $5.50. And so three pairs of Nikes and the two swim trunks came out to $38 with my coupon. So I thought that was pretty darn good and I was happy with the success of this trip, especially since I was about to just like go buy all these Nikes new. So that was a win in my book. So that's what I came home with. I am super excited for these things and I know this was a little haul, but I hope you all were inspired by the little clips at the antique store. All right guys, I will see you all next week. Bye friends. Bye.